In this video, we will cover the basics of using the PubMed database, including how to search and access full text articles. PubMed is a popular database containing citations from the biomedical and health fields. From the shared library homepage, libraries.etsu.edu, there are multiple ways to get to PubMed. The quickest is to go to the Databases tab and click on PubMed. You can also view our full list of databases A to Z by clicking on the Browse All Databases button and find it there. If you are asked to log in, use your ETSU username and password. On the main page, you will find a variety of resources. You can learn about PubMed and how to access materials. Under Find, you will find Advanced Search, Clinical Queries, and Single Citation Matcher. Scrolling down, you can check out trending articles as well as new articles from popular journals. The journals are identified by their abbreviations. Now we'll explore clinical queries, which uses filters to help users quickly and effectively search PubMed to find clinical studies or COVID-19 information on a given topic. It's helpful to use specific search terms that fully describe your topic. If you are searching for clinical studies, the possible filters are therapy, clinical prediction guides, diagnosis, etiology, and prognosis. Let's do a search for osteoarthritis and exercise. I'm using the therapy filter because I'm interested in studies on treatment methods. As I typed, the search made suggestions similar to our other databases. I could also choose to narrow my search by changing the scope from broad to narrow. Now let's look at the COVID-19 filter. I'm going to search for fatigue and I'm going to filter it by general. The other possible filters are mechanism, transmission, diagnosis, treatment, prevention, case report, forecasting, and long COVID. Next, you can click to see all the results in PubMed. Let's choose an article to look at more closely. This is an article's page on PubMed. You have the title, PMID, DOI, and other citation information. You can also review the author's affiliations listed here. There may be a full text link up on the right, as there is here. However, PubMed does not automatically provide full text like many of our other databases do. You can use all of this information here to find a full text article or request one through interlibrary loan. For this article, we also have a Get It at ETSU button, which will bring you to a catalog record for the article. That's what you would use if there was not another full text link option. Now we'll go back to the main PubMed page and look at other search options. We'll keep the same keywords as before so we can compare the results. We're searching for osteoarthritis and exercise. We have over 7,600 results. We'll now review some filters. First, I'm going to use the timeline filter to limit to the past five years in order to find the most recent research. Other filters include text availability and article type. We don't need to worry about text availability since we can use interlibrary loan if we need to. I want to find a systematic review, so I'll choose that filter. This narrows it down to 277 re results. Let's take a look at this first article. This time we have two full text links as well as the get it at ETSU button. It does not matter which link you choose, all will get you to the same full text article. Now we'll briefly cover advanced search. You can type your search directly into the query box, or you can use the box above to search a particular field. For example, I could use the author field to search for an author by name. 
You can also view your past searches with search details and the number of results. One thing to note is that PubMed does not have a filter to check for peer-reviewed status. If you want to check the peer-reviewed status of an article, you can search it via OneSearch on the library homepage and look for the peer-reviewed symbol. You can also look up the journal title in Ulrich's web database. This covers the basics of using PubMed. If you have any further questions, feel free to make a research help appointment with one of our librarians.